Hi everyone, Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS. Today I'm sharing one of the most important safety features on the iPhone, something every senior should set up. It's called Medical ID and it lets first responders see your critical health information right from your lock screen in an emergency. This is quick, easy, and could truly save your life. Let's get started. Your iPhone can store important medical info like allergies, medications, conditions, and emergency contacts. If you're ever in an accident or can't speak for yourself, this information becomes visible from your lock screen even if your phone is passcode protected. For seniors or anyone living alone, this provides peace of mind. Let's begin with a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the health app and how to add your medical ID information. You'll want to open up the health app, which is the one with the little red heart. If you don't see it in your app library or on your home screen, just tap where it says app library and begin typing in health. The app will appear tap on it to open. Once we've tapped on it to open, I'm going to tap on my profile picture in the upper right corner and that's going to bring me into uh, the detailed area of my health features. I'm going to tap on where it says medical ID and then this is where you'll create your emergency card. If you've never done this before, you may see something that says get started and it will walk you through uh, entering all your information. If you've already done that or you have some information entered, you can use the edit um, buttons to add information, remove information. So if it's the first time, you're going to tap get started. If it's not, you'll tap on edit. And now you can add details that could help save your life. So I'm going to scroll up a little bit more so that you can see it. And you'll scroll through these particular areas. You'll scroll through medications, allergies, emergency contacts, your condition. And then you'll see things like additional information like height, weight, blood type. And you can even add notes if you want to. So you want to list anything that you want the medical staff to know. So if you take daily medications, you want to add them. So if I tap on edit, I have a new medication I can add. I'll, I tapped into that area. I'm going to tap on the shift and I'm going to enter the medication that I'm taking now, uh, Celebrex, and I can enter the amount of milligrams that I take. When I'm finished, I can go ahead and tap on the blue check mark in the upper right corner, and now that medication has been added to my medication list. So you also have the option to add medical conditions. So you want to go ahead and edit those or fill them out. Whatever you need to add in this information, that's what you want to do. Go through and, and edit or update your emergency contacts, your allergies, and anything else that's important for your medical responders to see. Now I'm going to scroll back to the very top, and this is probably the most important switch that you should turn on. The show when locked switch. Turning this on allows first responders to see your information from the lock screen. So even when your screen is locked, the first responders will be able to access your medical ID. There's also a toggle switch below this that says share during an emergency call. This optional setting automatically shares your medical ID with 911 during an emergency call. I recommend turning it on for added safety. Here's how uh, emergency responders would access your medical ID. So they would be doing it from your locked screen. 
So I'm going to turn the power off to my screen. You may not see that. And then I'm going to swipe up and you'll see that because my face doesn't is not recognized, uh, I've turned the iPhone away from me. So if you want to do this, make sure that you turn your iPhone away from you. And when you do, you'll see the emergency uh, access in the lower right corner. Because if you immediately get into your iPhone, you won't have access to that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap on emergency in the lower left corner, and then you'll see the option for medical ID. I'll tap on that, and now emergency responders will see your medical information and can call your emergency contacts right from inside of your medical ID option. As someone who works with seniors every day and is a former respiratory therapist, this feature gives tremendous peace of mind. If you take medications, have chronic conditions, or live alone, having this setup means that no matter what, your information is accessible when it matters most. Here's a bonus tip. Be sure to update your medical ID when you change medication, switch doctors, or update emergency contact. A quick edit once or twice a year is enough. And what you may want to do to remind you of that is come into the Reminders app and then go ahead and set a reminder that repeats every six months so that you know to update your medical ID at least twice a year, or at least just take a look at it. Take a few minutes today to set this up for yourself and maybe help a spouse or friend set theirs up too. It's one of the easiest ways to improve your safety with the device you already use every day. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.